Nana. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you, Kalak? Good. What are you up to? I'm looking for something. Do you need help? Yes, please. Not this. Um, here it is. What is it? It's a magnifying glass. There are some animal tracks outside. And I intend to find out what left them. Can I help? Of course, Gullock. Okay, let's go. The tracks are over here. Wow, those are big. Wonder what left them. I don't know, something large. Maybe it's a polar bear or a nunuk. It could be a seal or a nut chick. I think seals have flippers. These tracks don't look like flippers. They look like hooves. I know. Maybe a caribou or a duktu. They look pretty big for a duktu. Maybe it's a muskox or a umingmuk. Oh, I know what it is. It's a moose. Well, that's what I was gonna say. Hi, Nana. How are you? I'm well. You? I'm good. What have you got there? It's a book filled with animals and their food. Wow. What are you looking at? Dudu, or caribou, are four-legged mammals. They are the only member of the deer family. The male and females have antlers. They eat lichen. Cool. What's next? Seals are sea mammals that live on fish. They have babies on the ice floes. The babies are called pups. They're adorable. Nanook, or polar bear, are the largest of all bears. They are primarily carnivorous. They live on a diet of seals, some other things, and seaweed, but mostly seals. Thank you.
is fluffy musk ox fur that can be used to make a lot of different types of clothing. The first part of kiviuk making is using a musk ox brush to pull the kiviuk out of the fur. Once you've pulled out enough kiviuk, you're ready to put it on a spool to make it easier to work with. To collect the kiviuk, the end is tied to a spool which is then spun to wrap the kiviuk up. To make the spool spin, push the pedals just like a bicycle. Make sure it doesn't get tangled. When you have enough kiviuk spooled up, it is ready to work with. Kiviuk is great for crocheting and knitting. Have fun making things!
sweaters from them, they make scarves from them, they make uh, little shoes or they make uh, they make gloves and that's some of the warmest some of the warmest material in the world and they are uh, better than just as good as cashmere, just as good as uh, you know, that other one that they use when they make really fancy clothing and sweaters and that. They call it uh, Angora. Angora, yeah. And they use that and they, that's what they make them in. This the muskox, the muskox, and when they run through the willows, you know those Arctic willows where they come from. That, that kiviet like that, will get caught on the willows. And sometimes when people go out, they collect that from there. Or uh, I know that a few years ago, when they were doing some muskox harvesting up in up in Sachs Harbor, and sometimes when they were harvesting the muskox clean all the kiviak off of them. And, uh, they'll take that kiviak and they send it off to a factory somewhere and they, they turn it into wool. Some of the ladies even from the Mackenzie Delta and from our uh, coastal communities, they make clothing out of the wool. Some of them they make sweaters. Uh, some of them they make, uh, they make 
the two. You know the scarf? You know, sometimes the, the girls like to wear a scarf. Try to stay warm. Much of that kiviak that they get from the muskox, this is, starts off as, a, as an animal that we have up there, and we also use the muskox for food. Lots of good food from the muskox. And you know what the muskox, how does the muskox protect the animals? They, all, they always go in a circle. The adults will always go in a circle. They'll you know, put the babies or the little ones in the middle. So that the wolves or any other the predators uh, will not be able to get the babies first. They always have to fight the adults. And this is the finished product. This is made out of the kivia. This is a sweater. Look at it. Very light, very warm, and very soft. Nice, huh? Yeah. The whole thing is be. You're not going to get too cold wearing a nice sweater like that to get out of the kivia. Nanak. 